What is up, YouTube? Alright, guys, today we're gonna do something that I uh, don't necessarily really like to do, but when we're finished up, we love it. Anyways, today we're gonna go ahead and clean these bad boys. The, uh, the Razor 800 and the uh, SSR 125. Don't mind those other bikes, those are just uh, guys that don't have trucks and need to have their shit hauled places, so. Um, anyways, uh, just finished up with a trip down a sand mountain for Easter, and as you can see, there's a shit ton of sand in there. Not necessarily muddy by any means, but I don't know if you can see that. There's definitely some dust, stuff like that. So we're gonna pull these bad boys out, and give them a rinse, and I'm gonna show you guys how I uh, clean the razor and SSR. All right, first. And I mean first thing that you have to do when cleaning your rigs, set you up a little bit of music, and get ready to jam out while you're cleaning your rigs. Get it going. Get a nice clean area. And get your hose ready. Alright. We got the pit bag. We got the razor. We got the hose. I know my hose has a leak in it. It's springtime. Give me a break. I'm gonna get a new hose. Come summer, just chill out. All right. Thirdly, you want to get yourself a bucket full of your cleaning supplies. You can pick all this stuff up at O'Reilly's, wherever the hell you want to pick it up. I don't really care, but anyways, uh, yeah, let's get started here, guys. Alrighty. First things first. You want to get yourself like a little pre-soak on all this undercarriage. You know, there's a reason why car washes are made the way that they're made. Because they pre-soak it. You just want to get everything a little bit wet. Loosen everything up. Just make sure it's going to come loose when you start putting some soap and on your final rinse. So, I like to get a good, solid rinse in and uh we're gonna go ahead and start with the razor and then uh we'll do the pit bike next i don't think i need to explain this one but uh you know take your seats out they're leather you know you don't want to you don't want to be boogering them things up plus when you finish out you don't I have wet seat because that's just lame as shit. I got a little overspray on this one. So we're gonna pull this bad boy out. Alright. Cool, we got them shits out. Now finally, guys, this is my little controller for my whip. We want to make sure to take that out because it's not fully waterproof. And uh yeah. Any, uh, any of those like crazy electronics, you want to kind of avoid. You want to stay away from it. Along with the air filter. I've got the air raid right here. So, we'll give it a little shot. But, uh, you know, there's some cool things I've done to this little air filter. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, uh, yeah, you can't see that. Anyways, I drilled some holes down in there. So, if any water does get up in there, it drains out of the bottom. And... I don't have to worry about it just chilling there. So now we're going to go ahead and soak the rest of it, the rest of the body, the bed, and uh, get everything nice and wet. Smike will me. That girl is a real crowd, please. Small world, all the friends know of me. Young bull living like an old keys. Quick release the cash, watch it fall slowly. Frat girl still trying to get in. For whatever reason Smoke in the air Binge drinking They lose it when the DJ drops in Alright, now that we got that finished up On to the next step Alrighty, on to the next step Grab your bucket Pour it out Get the little dirt in there From the rock Personally, I like to get, you know, 
good six inches of water in there before I fly the stuff. Then it sucks everything out. It's real nice. Oh, you got plenty of soap and water. I'm not just all suds. Take your water. Soap. Put some of that good shit up in there. Beautiful. That ain't gonna set up until you lift it up out. We've got an arsenal full of brushes here. You can use, what, to use whatever you want, but uh, I like kind of the harder ones, especially for the mud. The softer parts, you got this softer little brush, so I try to use a combo of both. Another one, another one, another one. We the best music! Music! music. Major key! Major key! DJ Kid! so good, I shouldn't have to fuck for free. So good, I shouldn't have to fuck for free. This is sex so good, I shouldn't have to fuck for free. This is sex so good, I shouldn't have to fuck for free. Tough on a bad chick, yeah. she got a body, a real bad bitch. She knows how I like to party. On a mattress with the handle of a cardi. And the fact is, you know we're just getting started. Tough on a bad chick, not an Instagram model. I'ma go to campus, I'll fulfill such a brothel. And the shit is madness, so I drink another bottle. I'ma drink this shit till the ladies look like bottles. Back up, back up, back it up for me, girl. You're such a bragger, what's up? Come and work for me, girl. I got a back cup filled up, come and give me a twirl. And we go stack up my luck till I finally hurt. I got this party unlocked, somebody pass me the rock. I'm about to pop the top off, someone hand me a shot. This girl has got a hot pie like she been doing squats. And you know that. my machines I like to use a chamois as I like to call them they're really nice they're reusable and uh, they get the job done really well they soak everything up so I'm not gonna bore you by letting you watch me rub my machine unless you're into that and that's just weird but uh yeah anyways rub it down get it all nice and dry you don't want any water spots and then after that happens you can uh you can either leave her outside or you can pull it in. Doesn't matter. And uh, and then you whip out your secret weapon, and that's how we're gonna make it shine. Alrighty, guys. There she is, all dry, clean for the most part, and uh, looking pretty good. Um, I bought this thing, and the gal that I bought it from had rolled it twice. Not like rolled it, but just put it on its side. So as you can see, like that back fender, it's definitely not where it's supposed to be. And that's why I run line the front fenders, because they were all jacked up too. And fenders and plastics and all that nonsense for these razors is extremely expensive. Like, we're talking three to six hundred bucks just to uh, pretty much do the same job. So it does its job, and I uh, can't complain about it. So anyways, I usually like to pull mine inside, so... I can see what the secret weapon looks like, but we're going to hold off on the secret weapon till the very end after we get this bad boy all mopped up and all cleaned. I got to go grab some more supplies, um, and you guys will see here shortly. When washing your SSR, don't ever, ever forget to bring your rubbers. All right, guys, this is how I'm going to do it. This is how I've been doing it. Right there, for anybody that knows anything about motorcycles, is your carb. That's where your airflow comes in. That's where your air filter is. You do not want to get that wet. So, we're just going to pull this bad boy off. And like I said earlier, oh man, the camera's all over the place. It's pretty hard with one hand. Alright, so, as you can see, Right there, I got a little sand build up right there. You take some carb cleaner, squirt it in there, make sure that's all clean. But you're gonna wanna take your choke off so that butterfly valve right there is shut. And then take your rubber and put it around, all around the choke lever so nothing gets in there. And you are now protected.
and ready to do some business, if you know what I'm saying. Alright guys, now it's time to uh, give her a little water, a little rinse down. As you saw in the clip before, stuck that little towel right there in the tailpipe to do this dirty business. And uh, yeah, so you're just going to soak her down. And my word of advice as soon as your bike or your razor gets dirty, clean it off immediately. If not, like as soon as you get home, like pull it off the truck, pull it off the trailer, and rinse that bad boy. Because the longer you wait, the harder it is to clean it. So, I got a buddy that, he went to a race and it was like all mud. And he waited probably three months to clean his shit. And he physically took two days tearing his entire bike apart. His brakes didn't work. He had all bunch, bunch of kinds of shit fucked up because he left his bike sitting with mud just caked in every which place possible. And so he had to spend two days like soaking all of his plastics, um, doing doing everything over to his bike, which sucks because that's not that fun, you know. Uh, like I said, this is something that we don't like to do, but we like it when it's clean because it looks good. And when you're cruising around or up on the trails, and even five years down the road when you still have these pieces of equipment, they're not all faded and nasty looking. They actually look clean, and people are actually going to, you know, notice you, even with an older machine, with how clean it looks how well you've taken care of it. So on this SSR, make sure you get up underneath that fender. A lot of mud that likes to get kicked up in there. I built that little plate right there to cause it from not spraying as much right there on the engine. So. so anyways, give her a good soak. And uh, you're gonna do the same thing you did the razor, just give it a nice solid scrub, dry it off, and uh, come in here soon, the secret weapon. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's this little brown, blackish spot in the floor of my garage, and uh, if you watch one of my other videos from earlier, I had my razor torn apart because I uh, didn't blow a bell, but I messed up a belt pretty well. Um, so, that right there is from the puddle of brake cleaner that pulled up underneath the razor from the clutches. So, pretty nasty stuff. So, it was pretty torn up, pretty disgusting, pretty bad. I'm not proud of it, but I'll tell you what, I put this new Gates belt in there, and this thing runs like a dream now. and close up in there so anyways guys I like to pull my machine in that way uh, I can see where I'm gonna be putting my uh, special weapon at um, spraying it and wiping it so um, yeah like I said this this belt that I just put in is really really nice um, a lot more power and I bought this machine used and I'm pretty sure the belt was slipping ever since I bought it so yeah the moment you've all been waiting for. The secret weapon to cleaning your vehicles and making your plastics shine just a touch bit more. I give to you some Lemon Pledge. Well, you know, this is like the Walmart brand or Dollar Tree, I don't know. Same stuff. Anyways, guys, I don't know where I found this. I think I found it on a forum. Somebody said, oh, spray your shit with lemon pledge. It makes your stuff shine. 
And I thought, hey, you know what? It's worth a shot. You know, I'll clean it. And, you know, you can see it's clean. It's just a little bit dull. And this razor has a bunch of scratches on it and stuff. But let's just, let's just do a little spot right here in the corner of the hood. Oh, yeah. Boom. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but that's a lot more shinier than that. It works for me. I've seen it. It just, I don't know what it is. If it's the cleaning product of it that it cleans and moisturizes, but definitely like livens up the, uh, the plastics. I think it makes them um, not as dry. They don't dry out. They don't get that UV cracking in them and all that other kind of stuff. So, Anyways, guys, wipe your machines down with Lemon Pledge. That's my best advice for your plastics. As far as like the little black pieces on your razor and your pit bike, use some of the restorating black that you can just get at the auto store. It's cheap. It works good. It works great for pickups, too. Like, I do my mirrors, and I've got, like, some stuff up on the bumper and stuff like that, but... Um, you know, just a little bit will do, and uh, it really makes your ride shine. I did, like, a full detail on this razor before I went to Sand Mountain for Halloween, and I had people commenting on, on it that it was such a clean razor and so good looking for being a 2009. Even though, when you get close, it's beat to shit. But <laughs> it just had that nice, crisp shine to it when it was driving by. That people would give me the thumbs up and you know they knew it was a clean ride they knew it looked good so anyways guys i hope some of these things helped you out i hope that maybe shine a little bit of light it's not that hard to wash them but there are some things that people miss and they just go for it they just start throwing soap on it and think that's going to be clean but that's not the case if you really want to get you know the mud and the nastiness off your machines, which you should. You should always want to get that off. You know, I know that they're OHV vehicles, and they're meant for the road, and meant for the mud, and all that other kind of stuff. And, but at the same point, if you want it to last, and, you know, keep for a long time, then you need to treat them with some love, and treat them right. So, anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. When in doubt, throttle out. Peace out, Girl Scout. Take it easy, and good luck with uh, washing your guys' rigs. Later.